guys, welcome back to another video. Today I actually got a new fish for the saltwater tank, which is doing really, really good. All of the corals are looking really, really nice. The candy canes, the hammers, the zoanthids. I actually got some cool underwater footage of the zoanthids today. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video. But we've just had the two snowflake clownfish in that tank for the past like two or three months now. They've been doing really, really good, and um, I thought, you know, it was it was time to add another fish to the tank. In all, I probably want to have about four total fish. So this new one, and then probably get another one within another month or so. You know, let this one kind of settle in, do its thing and all that. And uh, then we'll think about getting another fish to add to the tank. But it's a fish that a lot of you guys have been wanting me to get for that tank, and that fish is a Royal Grama. Now for those of you who don't know what a Royal Grama is, Basically, it's this fish that is half purple and half yellow. They're a good reef safe fish that likes to hide in rock caves and stuff like that And uh, they tend to do really really good in nano and bio cube tanks just like mine. Now he's tiny He is really really small. This is probably the smallest Royal Grama that I've ever seen I didn't get any footage of him at the store, um, but he looks really really nice. He looks really healthy His colors are very bright really nice looking and um, hopefully he'll do really really good in the tank I don't think the clownfish will bother him even though they're they've got some size on him So that being said I'm gonna get you guys off this tripod and uh, we're gonna go and start acclimating him. All right So here he is you guys can see him better in the tank, but yeah check him out he is really, really nice looking. His colors look really, really nice and vibrant. And uh, the clownfish are checking him out right there. You can see there's a definite size difference in him and the clownfish, but I don't expect any problems out of this guy. And um, like I mentioned, these guys are a rock dwelling fish, so he's probably gonna find himself a little cave to hide in. The old rare ground that I used to have a few months back, he would go right up in there, right back in there. So I don't know, he might go over there, he might find some other spot. But hopefully he comes out and about a lot and is a very sociable royal grama because we definitely don't want a fish in here that's going to hide all the time i want a fish that you know is going to be out and about and that we can see a whole lot so we're going to let that little guy acclimate for a few minutes or so and then we'll go and put him into the tank now as i mentioned earlier uh the zoanthids they are doing absolutely amazing right now um they're really really starting to take off now on this plug and onto the rocks and I, I showed you guys some underwater footage that I got of them uh, earlier today and that's because I just bought a new GoPro Hero 7 which is going to really really help out with some cool underwater shots like of the zoanthids, uh, the oscars in the pool pond, the gar, uh, the guppies in the guppy pond. It'll definitely help us out, you know, get some really really cool shots of some fish that I wouldn't be able to get with just this camera. So it should be pretty helpful. Now also the panda barbers that they got a few videos ago for the 30 gallon tank, they're doing really really good and all. but. The other night it came out here and two of them were doing something pretty crazy. I've never seen anything like it. They were both at the bottom of the tank near the rock and they were all flared up and everything and it looked to me like it was either one of two different things. It either looked like they were spawning or just being really, really territorial. Now, I don't know anything about tetras and barbs, you know, breeding or spawning or anything like that just because it's not a, a fish that you hear about a whole lot, you know, breeding in tanks. So I don't know, but if any of you guys have any idea as to what they were doing, then please let me know down below in the comments. Now, they haven't done it since then. They're all, you know, really peaceful and schooling and swimming together now, but it looked pretty crazy to me. Now, also the other night I came out here to the saltwater tank and all the lights are off and everything, and the little conch that I have in here, you guys don't really ever see him because really the only time that he ever comes out is at night and he kind of helps clean up the sand and stuff helps clean up all that dino that's in the sand um but anyways he was doing something pretty crazy he was doing something that i didn't even know that they could do he had started to climb up this rock right here and honestly i didn't know that they could do that i didn't know that they could actually climb up rocks but it was pretty crazy looking but i think we've given our little royal grandma enough time to acclimate now so that being said let's go and get this little guy out of the bag and into his new tank all right here we go in three two one there he is He's going to go right to a cave, I'm sure, but that guy, man, he's going to look great in here. Check that out. Just check out how vibrant his colors are. Look, oh, 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 look at that. Clownfish checking him out. Just seeing what he is, that's all. That guy is going to look so good in here. Look at that little black dot on the top of his dorsal fin. Man, that's going to be a cool little fish to have in here. This guy will get much bigger than this. He's not going to get huge, and uh, he shouldn't outgrow this tank. But if that guy does really, really good in here, he will definitely double in size. There's no doubt about that. So... What I'm going to do is let the lights go ahead and shut off with this guy, settle in and all that, let the clownfish get used to him, and let him get used to the clownfish, and uh, we will come back and check on this guy in the morning. Well, it's now been about two days since the Royal Grandma has been in the tank, and uh, he's been doing really, really good. He actually ate a little bit that same night that I put him in the tank, and uh, for the time being, he had been staying just kind of in that little notch right there, but sometime last night, he moved back here to this little spot, and um, this is his new little cave right in there. 
The shrimp's creeping up on him right now, but you can see him a little bit of him right there in that little that little cave right there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some frozen mice shrimp and put a few pieces in the tank and uh, let's see if we'll come out to eat. So I'm out of mice, but I got some brine shrimp right here. So I'm just gonna take that cube and then uh, we'll see if he'll come out to eat. He has eaten some, like I said, but he's not coming out and eating like the clownfish are. Once a few of those pieces go right by him, he should start to come out. Oh, look at him. He's starting to come out now. Look at that. Put some more right here. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at him, look at him. He's coming out. Look at that. Check that out. Oh, 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 look at him. Check that out. So that guy is coming out to eat, which is really, really good. He's still kind of intimidated by the clownfish, but check that out. That is great. So that is really, really good to see that guy coming out to eat and all that. Of course, it will take him, you know, a little bit longer to get used to me, you know, coming up to the tank and all that. But um, for now, he is looking and doing really, really good. So... So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please be sure to give it a like down below and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And also let me know what you guys think about the new Royal Grama, if you like him, if you don't like him. And also, I'm thinking about adding one more fish to the saltwater tank, so I want you guys to let me know what fish you think I should add to that tank. Because I'm there's a few different options that I have, but I haven't really made my mind up just yet. So if there's any small little bio cube, nano cube type fish that you think would be great in that tank, then please comment it down below. Thank you guys for watching though, and with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!